Hey, how are all my beautiful Gemini soul family members doing out there? My name is Morty. Welcome to today's read. Today I thought I would do a read for Gemini for January 2019. So today is Saturday, December 22nd. Um, it's late morning, Mountain Standard Time. And I'm pretty excited to do this read today. You know, Gemini is a fun sign. It's a fun sign to do reads for. Um, you know, Geminis have such fantastic minds. You know, you're all very creative, very clever, um, very quick with it, right? You can be um, great with uh, conversations that are intellectual, right? You're great at that intellectual masturbation. That's what I call it. Um, I'm an Aquarius sun sign, so, you know, it's, that's an air sign as well. So I recognize some of those traits and qualities. And I've inherited many of them myself. So, you know, Geminis can be very quick-witted and funny, have a great sense of humor. Um, sometimes you can come across as being a little superficial. Um, you, you know, sometimes a little bit arrogant, too. Um, pessimistic, uh, protective. Um, you can be indecisive and moody, right? So, I mean, I'm not a Gemini, but I, I relate to many of those same traits. So, there's no judgment there. It's all just, it's how the world goes around, you know? So it makes what that's what kind of makes life interesting. So, anyways, so yeah, let's get started with today's read. Um, so you may have your sun sign in Gemini, or your moon or rising may be in Gemini, um, or you may just be checking in on a Gemini, or you may just be intuitively guided to be here. Um, I mean, I'm seeing more and more of that, and I really like that. Right? I I love I love the idea of all of us following our following our intuition. You know, our intuition is that inner feeling. Um, you know, you probably heard the statement, follow your heart, not your head, right? It's that inner feeling within all of us. And we all have it, right? Um, that's kind of the compass that we should use to be steering ourselves throughout life. Um, and tarot, what it does is it just points out what energies are ahead of you, right? So you just know, it gives you a, a, just a kind of a better idea of what may lie ahead so you can be better prepared for it, right? So that you can... Because your choice hasn't been made yet. You know, we still get the opportunity to make choice. So we can we can take the information from these reads. We can potentiate it any way we'd like. And by potentiate, I mean bring more joy and happiness and fulfillment to your life. Because um, that's what I'm trying to do as a tarot reader is be able to connect with energies and see things. Connect with spirit and share a message in a way that um, it reaches all of you, each and every one of you. Um, and that whatever that message is, it, it makes a difference for you in your life, you know. It, it, it allows you to live a more happy, more joyful and fulfilling life. So, that is my goal. Um, and on that note, I just want to thank all of you for the comments and the likes and the subscribes and shares. Um, I read all of them and I love them. So, thank you so much. It's kind of fun to hear about some of what's going on with many of you out in the world, you know, because, I mean, let's just admit it, this year has been a bitch of a year um, for a lot of us, right? I mean, all kinds of planetary movement, and um, there's just been a lot of heavy energy, a lot of resistance, a lot of transformations. So, you know, we're kind of in that era of enlightenment right now, so... Yeah, maybe on a universal level, consciousness is changing across the board, you know. Maybe all of our frequencies are being raised just a little. All right, so to begin today's read, I thought I would pull an affirmation and just see what affirmation Libra had taking them, or excuse me, Gemini. What affirmation Gemini has taking them into the month of January. Okay, great. Gemini, you drew the card of New Beginnings. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. I love that. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. That's powerful. I mean, I could feel that when I was saying it. The number 44. Um, 
it reduces to the number of eight, meaning infinity, strength, power. And this is a beautiful card for you, Gemini. This, uh, yeah, this card makes me excited for you. It makes me excited to go into your read. Um, so, yeah. So, and again, this read won't be for every Gemini, but it will be for some. And some of you Geminis have this, what looks to be an amazing new beginning starting for you in the month of January. Okay, so I'm going to do today's read with my Crystal Vision Tarot set. I pre-shuffle both these decks, but I like to just shuffle them you know, once or twice more. And then I'm just going to cut the deck three times. And I pull the card from the bottom of the deck is the opening energy taking Gemini into your read, right? So this is the opening energy taking you into the month. Okay, Gemini. You have the Ten of Wands. Um, Ten of Wands, this represents the energy of being tired, right? Whatever journey you've been on, Gemini, you know, whatever you've been manifesting in your life, trying to create it, feels like it's been a long journey, right? Um, maybe you feel like you've not only have you been carrying your burdens, but you've been carrying the burdens of others. And, you know, and you're feeling it. So, energy taking us into the read. You know, I like to think that, that for Gemini, this is probably an energy that you're coming out of now, right? Going into the new month. Getting ready to take on this new beginning. the Six of Pentacles. So this card represents the energy of giving and receiving. You know, so you look at the figure, she's here in the field and she's picking fruit and putting it in her basket and she's receiving help from all these birds as well, you know. Um, so yeah, this is the energy of giving and receiving. So as what I'm going to do is just, as the cards fall, I'm going to hold them up and I'll tell you guys what the cards mean individually. Um, and then once the cards are laid out, then I'll do the read overall and tell you what the read is saying. Um, I really like using that method because um, from what I'm hearing, you know, feedback from you guys, um, a lot of you really enjoy learning about the individual cards and their meanings. So you find that part beneficial. So I want to keep doing that for you. All right, Gemini. Tell us more. You have the Two of Wands. Okay, so Wands would be a fire sign. So this is fire energy, right? This is a this is like a youthful, invigorating energy. Of if you look at the, the figure in the card, he sits next next to his dragon, and he's setting out on his course. And he's looking for adventure, right? He's a pretty courageous guy. He's a risk taker. So this is this is that energy. This represents getting set, you know, setting yourself up to go out on a new adventure. You have the Five of Cups, Gemini. Five of Cups. So if you look at the the energy or the figure in the card, she's sitting on this rock, and. She's looking, staring down into the water, and she's looking at these spilled empty cups, right? And she's not seeing these two full cups that are behind her. So this can be the energy of, of how we're perceiving life, Gemini. Um, so for some Geminis, you, you know, you may be looking at life a little pessimistically right now, right? Maybe focused on some of, some of the, 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 the losses or the trials, you know, some of the pain rather than some of the blessings, Okay, Gemini, tell us more. 
Gemini, you have the hanged man. So this, the energy in this card, this represents, um, you know, not jumping to any kind of quick, rash decision, right? It's really taking your time. Um, you know, some of you, Gemini, may have like kind of kept yourself in a stalemate, a waiting position. Um, you know, waiting for, uh, waiting for a little guidance and direction. Um, maybe not quite certain what you should be doing yet. So this is the energy showing that that's coming to an end. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is coming in under or next to the Hanged Man. Queen of Cups, this represents, so the Queen of Cups is the most loving queen. Um, she didn't become the Queen of Cups overnight. She's lived life, she's experienced life, she's tasted of life, the pains of life. You know, some of the heartaches and losses, and also some of the love. She's very well balanced with one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. Um, it's a very loving and nurturing, unconditionally loving energy. Gemini. You also have the Emperor. This is the card of Aries, all right? And this is coming in under the Six of Pentacles. So... Some Geminis out there may have a an Aries in your life, right? Um, this energy represents authority, right? Um, stability, solid foundation, security. Um, the Emperor is somebody that you can count on, right? And again, just like the just the Queen of Cups, he didn't become the Emperor overnight. He became the Emperor from tasting of life, experiencing life. He's felled, he's fallen, um, but he's also learned and grown. He's expanded from that. That's why he's the emperor. So that's a great energy for Gemini to have coming into your life. <coughs> In the month of January. <coughs> so Gemini, tell us more. to start wanting to fall. Okay, Gemini, you have the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is the most loving king. Um, water sign, so Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, more than likely. Where it's king, it could be a male energy. It doesn't have to be. Um, this is a great energy coming into your life, um, into your atmosphere. Um, representing unconditional love um, and acceptance. Um, stability and strength. I mean, king of cups is the love king. So, I mean, we have a couple here. Because um, we have the king of cups and we have the queen of cups. You have the Eight of Wands. And this is the energy that represents speed, coming in quickly. You look at the eight, eight unicorns, they're barreling down this mountain. There's no stopping them. They're rushing in. Yeah, so Gemini, <clears throat> whatever you have coming in, is coming in and coming in quickly. A little sloppy. Okay, Gemini, tell us more. Tell us what else. What else can we know about January? You have the Page of Pentacles. This is coming in under the Hanged Man. All right, so for some of you Gemini out there, this 
whatever you've been in, in limbo on, right, whatever you've been in holding pattern on, um, that you're getting ready to come out of, out of holding pattern on, make a decision on, there's news coming in on that, right, news coming to you. <clears throat> We have the Six of Swords, and this is coming in under the Queen of Cups. Six of Swords, this represents the energy, so if you look at the figure in the card, she set down her swords, and now she's walking away, right? So this is moving away from something, um, and she's walking towards the light. The clouds are parting, the skies are lightning, and that's where she's headed. And again, that's coming in under the Queen of Cups. Four of Swords, Gemini. This represents the, the energy of rest and relaxation, recuperation. And this is the closing energy taking you out of the read. Okay, so give me just a minute here. Let me take a look at the cards and kind of see what I see, and then I can share with you. Yeah, okay, so for some Geminis, you're going into the month of January feeling like you have been carrying your burdens and the burdens of other, of other people. So it's kind of a heavy energy taking you into the month. Gemini, you're taking on the energy of the Emperor, right? Whether that's an Aries coming into your life or somebody with that kind of energy, or whether this is you taking on the energy of the Emperor. But what this energy brings you is it brings you abundance, right? This is the card of giving and receiving. So I think that this emperor energy coming into your life is going to give you quite a bit of abundance. Whatever, whatever you term abundance is meaning for you, you know, it can mean financial abundance. It can mean an abundance of love. It can be abundance of security and stability, right? Because there are some Gemini's out there that are setting out to take on a big adventure with the King of Cups, right? the most loving king. Um, whether this is you with another person who represents this energy, or whether it's whatever it is you're doing, you're setting out to do for yourself that represents this energy in your life. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. Whatever this, for Gemini, whatever this new adventure is that you're stepping into, it brings you the energy of the King of Cups, love. So, Gemini, you don't want to get uh, hung up on thinking, you know, about negativity and, you know, some of the hardships that you've been through too much, right? If you have been focused on that, I see those thoughts and those energies leaving you quickly. Because Gemini, you're coming out of hangman status, right? A period of indecision. That period of indecision is ending with this news that's coming in, right? Gemini, whatever it is you're moving away from in your life, it's bringing you the energy of this Queen of Cups, which is an all-loving, all unconditionally loving energy, the most loving queen. And Gemini, you've, you've had a lot going on. Right? You've been manifesting a lot, 
a lot of transformations and changes taking place in your life, right? It takes its toll on us. Take this time, especially, you know, with the holidays and such, to rest and recuperate, right? Make sure that you're taking adequate time to give yourself mind, body, and spirit plenty of rest. Yeah, so I just thought, I thought I'd get clarification in a couple different areas. Um, I want to get clarification on this Two of Wands, right? So tell me more about the Two of Wands for the clarification. The Two of Wands. Too many cards. Okay, you have the Tower card. So, for some of you, Gemini, out there, um, you're taking on this new adventure in your life, right? Whatever this, however this came about, it may have came about in your life from a Tower moment. Tower moments take place, this is when the universe steps in, the clouds part, lightning strikes the tower, tumultuous waters, the tower is going down, goals are scrambling, looking for a place to land. Um, anytime that we're not necessarily following promptings and making necessary changes that we need in our lives, um, if that doesn't happen, a lot of times the universe will step in and shake things up in our world. It'll bring in a tower moment that creates that for us. A lot of people fear, fear tower moments. For you, Gemini, this is not a fearful tower moment because this tower moment brings you this great adventure in your life, right? That you're seeking out to, to take on. Okay, tell me more about the King of Cups. So the King of Cups falls in under the Two of Wands. I asked for more clarification on the King of Cups. And I got the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, this is the card of victory. This is a card of triumph. The figure in the card stands on this pedestal. Next to his lion, which symbolizes strength. Eagles flying above him, also symbolizing strength. Um, and he's accepting this victory. You know, so for many of you, Gemini, this new adventure that you're that you're stepping into, right, with this King of Cups energy, it brings you great victory and triumph. All right, um, yeah, Gemini, this is a great read for you. Um, I'm happy for you. I'm excited. Um, yeah, whatever you have coming into your life, this new adventure, it's an exciting thing for you. Um, just creates great energy. So, all right. I want to thank everybody for watching this read um, and participating it with me. I hope these energies resonated with you. Hopefully you're able to, you know, take a nugget or two of uh, good energetic truth with you. Um, because I'd, I'd love to just make positive difference in the life of uh, everybody that listens. Anyways, Gemini, all kinds of new beginnings coming your way. Um, this and this read is, is a very exciting new new beginning. It's a it's an adventurous new beginning. So Gemini, come out of hangman mode and begin this new adventure in your life. Again, my name is Morty. Thank you all again for the likes and subscribes, shares, and comments. You guys are the best. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, good luck in January. Hope it's a great month for you. Looks like it is, Gemini.